This is the launch. It's a puzzle box I designed about six months ago. It's on Thingiverse for free to download and print yourself. It's like an eight step solve with a launching rocket. It's a great puzzle box. And now it's been remixed. That's right. The launch puzzle box is now better than ever. It has a, a new graphic on the bottom. It has rubber bands assisting all the springs so they'll never wear out, including the launch spring itself uh, is now assisted by a dental rubber band, completely optional. You can keep it 100% plastic or you can add the rubber bands making the springs uh, unable to ever wear out. The rocket for the launch puzzle box has also been completely redesigned. Uh, it's an entirely different mechanism than it was before. I can't spoil all the details because uh, it's a part of the solve and it would be a spoiler. All right, here we have the launch puzzle boxes. Now I'm gonna show you the first step of the assembly and that's getting the rubber band connected and installed. And the way I do it is I grab a rubber band. Again, I'm using 4.5 ounce quarter inch, 6.4 millimeters. We're gonna put it through this little slot and make sure it catches there. You can see it's like it was made to do that. Then we are going to install the T7. And before we push it all the way down, we're going to take our needle nose pliers. And I do this with the key, the launch, all, all of them. And we're going to pull that rubber band up so we can drop it in. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's sort of shaped like a like it wants to accept the rubber band. So there we go. Now the rubber band is in, just like that. Um, now the springs are supported by a rubber band and will never fade. For the full assembly, go check out the assembly video, and um, I'll show you where else the rubber bands go. This puzzle box has two rubber bands. The second rubber band connects between the launch spring, which is uh, golden here, and the loop on the top of part B. And that forever will have lots of, lots of oomph for your rocket when you go to launch it every time you push that button in. It launches like crazy, which is super fun. A um, lot of velocity there. It's real easy to install this rubber band. We also have redesigned the rocket. Now I'm not gonna show the full difference between this rocket, which is new, and this rocket, which is old, but I can assure you the mechanism is much stronger, more subtle and user-friendly. The remixes with the springs, guys, are so nice to use. The mechanisms in here just feel so sharp. And, uh, and they won't wear out ever, which is great. I think the changes in this puzzle box are some of the best, especially if you're not getting a full launch out of your rocket. And then playing around with these layer lines, like you can see I just printed the first layer in gray and then the rest of it in red. It just gives it a good effect from the outside. So cool. Watch the assembly video. It won't show you how to assemble it with the rubber bands, but it's pretty intuitive. And I just showed you how to do the, the T7, which is the only tricky part. The remix is now live on Thingiverse for you to download for free and print. Uh, the goal of this puzzle box is to find the hidden alien. There is an alien head hidden inside the puzzle box. And uh, if you manage to launch the rocket, and if you manage to find the alien, you have solved the puzzle box. Thanks so much for watching, enjoy the print, and we will see you in the next video.